A uh, 48-year-old lady was referred to us for the favor of ileocolonoscopy. You can see the terminal ileum here. And this is the cecum. You can see the appendicular opening at 10 o'clock position. Uh, we are holding the shaft of the scope in the right hand. Very gentle maneuvers with uh, the shaft of the scope and up and down wheel on the big uh, wheel on the left hand and very gentle withdrawal of the scope. This patient has history of bleeding per rectum and elsewhere there was a diagnosis of a polyp in the colon somewhere in the rectosigmoid junction. But whenever we have cases of bleeding per rectum, it's mandatory to always go up to the terminal ileum and make sure that you do not miss any other bleeding lesion. So as you can see, we are gently withdrawing. Adequate bowel preparation is mandatory whenever we have to look for GI bleeding source, especially small angiomatous lesion will be missed if the bowel preparation is not good. Now we are coming to the exact site of the polyp. Now this is a long stock polyp you can see, um, multiple lobed, the head is multi-lobed. I'm not getting a good position so I've rotated my scope uh, clockwise torque I will bring the stock at 6 o'clock position. See how we have rotated the scope inside. So uh, by giving a torque on the scope, you can bring the stock of the polyp in the direction of the, of the working channel of the endoscope. And now what we are going to do is, we are going to uh, inject diluted saline adrenaline with, with uh, indigo carmine for staining. You can see here. Uh, we are using a 25 gauge needle to inject the, the base of the polyp. You can see here. And once you start injecting, you'll see a submucosal bleb uh, in, the, in the base of the polyp. You can see that very, very well. So this is a standard technique which we use for uh, management of colonic polyp with stock or even flat adenomas, uh, you can raise this with uh, saline uh, adrenaline as well as with indigo carmine uh, to stain the, the submucosal plane. So once you have uh, injected, uh, we will now use a snare, the largest possible snare. This polyp measures around three centimeters, a bile, uh, multiple lobed, so, and we are trying to go around. Now the trick is to open the snare and then try and work your way with the shaft of the scope and uh, try and uh, roll the snare over the polyp as you can see while pushing the uh, polyp, uh, polypectomy snare outside the channel and then very gently ask the assistant to ensnare and tighten the noose. Once you've tightened the noose, you inflate that part of the colon and make sure the polyp is not touching any wall of the colon because the current will be transmitted and then we start doing polypectomy with uh, herbe cautery and it is on endocut mode, uh, polypectomy mode. Uh, we very gently, step by step fashion, we will uh, apply the endocut and make sure that the guy, uh, the, the person who is giving attraction on the snare does not cut through uh, drastically. Very gentle traction and cautery application will lead to uh, adequate resection of the polyp you can see here. So very gentle traction and you see now the polyp is removed from the base. It's mandatory to look for the base for hemostasis. You can see here that there is complete hemostasis. There is no evidence of bleeding. Uh, mandatory always to make sure that you retrieve all resected specimen and mass. As you can see, a large polypoidal mass. We are now retrieving the rot, roth retrieval net. You can use the roth net or a basket and you uh, deliver the entire specimen out and then send it for uh, histopathology. And this brings to end of this procedure.